Hi, I'm Paul from Regal Ed, and I'm here today to show you how to mix colour spray GRP for composite doors. I'm also going to show you how to pre-prep the slab before spraying. First of all, when you're mixing, you'll need the, the pre-mixed paint. The second thing that you'll need is the hardener, which is the base B material. And the third thing you'll need is thinners. You will also need a filter if you are mixing using Supercup. If you're using the SATA cup, which I will be showing you today, the filter is actually built into the cup itself. The other thing you may need is a mixing stick. The paint rate mixing ratios for the, the pre-mixed material is three and a half parts to one part base to 20% thinners. It's very important that you get this right, so just for demonstration purposes, we've marked clearly on the cup, the first line being the three and a half parts of the pre-mixed paint. The next part that we've put in is the base B, which is the hardener, and I've put this into smaller cups just for ease of pouring. The base material forms one part of the mix. And I'm just going to top this up to the required amount like so. The next material that you need is thinners, and this is up to 20% of the total mix of the paint. Ensure that all the lids are securely fixed in place and then you can shake the material in the cup. Once you're happy that the material has been shook properly, you can remove the top lid. Then you can put the mixing cup screws directly onto the Deville Bisque gum and you're ready to spray. Now I'm going to show you the prepping of the door slab prior to spraying. We've already talked about PPE, which is very important. I'm still wearing my gloves and glasses. The materials that you'll need to prep the door properly is GRP Prep Clean, and this is a solvent which is used to, to degrease the door slab prior to spraying. You'll need paper tissue, application tape to apply to the back of the door slab to stop overspray, a maroon scotch pad, and a sharp scalpel. I'm just going to do a very quick demonstration showing a door that hasn't been cleaned. If I put some water onto the door slab, you can see that the water pools. This means that basically the door is repelling the water or the paint. So we need to make sure that that doesn't happen after we've cleaned. The first thing that I need to do is to apply a very small amount of the prep clean onto the door slab. And I'm going to take my maroon scotch pad and I'm going to work the product into the grains, paying attention to the mold detail to ensure that everywhere is nice and clean. We use the maroon scotch pad because it's not too abrasive for where it's going to damage the door. Once we've cleaned this small area, I'm going to take some paper tissue and I'm just going to remove the prep clean off the door. It'll then also be necessary to apply some clean prep clean onto the tissue and wipe over the area once more. I'm now going to repeat the water test and if I put water onto the piece of slab we've just cleaned, you can see now how the water is, is not pooling at all. You can move it across the door slab which means that it will actually accept paint. So that's a good way of testing that the door is properly cleaned prior to spraying. The final thing that you need to do before going ahead and spraying the door is to ensure that you mask off the substrate before spraying. This is 
um, just to, to stop any overspray going onto parts of the door that you don't wish to paint. So we've cleaned this side of the door. I'm just going to, to flip it over and I'm going to apply what is an, essentially a jumbo roll of masking tape. Place it over the top of the, of the door slab. After you've done this, the only thing that's left is to trim the material back. And now your door is ready to spray.